You've heard this before, you are what you eat. Here with the best and worst foods to help you improve your health from the inside out is registered dietitian Carrie Glassman. She is author of The O2 Diet. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. So we're going to give people the best foods for memory, weight, appearance, and other things. There are lots of good foods for memory, but you say these two are the best? Exactly. Blueberries get their power from anthocyanins. That It's that pigment that gives them the blue color, also found in grapes and cabbage, but blueberries number one in terms of memory and cognition. And eggs have choline. Choline, people with diets high in choline have been shown to have better memory and cognition as well. Blueberries, I'm thinking you could eat as many as you want, but I'm thinking there is a limit on, on Absolutely eggs. Absolutely limit. There's even a limit with blueberries too. You can't really overdo any food, but great foods to add into your diet for memory. These two are no-nos when it comes to memory. No-nos. Right? We know a little bit of alcohol does have health benefits. Too much alcohol, alcohol in excess, will interfere with brain function, including memory. And french fries, high fatty foods, this is really interesting, affect short-term memory before you even see the pounds add on. So it'll affect your brain before it affects your waistline. I had no idea. Yeah, another I, reason to stay away from those fries. I thought it's because I'm pregnant that my memory's been <laughs> failing, but it's really the french fries. Exactly. All right, I know you're a big grapefruit fan. You grew up eating this, and it happens to be very good for your weight. Exactly. Grapefruits, people that ate a half a grapefruit before meals were shown to lose three and a half pounds. Now, I don't think there's any Without magical making Power. Any other changes to without, their diet? Make, without making other changes. Now, huh. I don't think there's any magical power, some special enzyme in here. However, it is high in fiber and vitamin C, and it's so satisfying that it helps fill you up. So what I think happens is you end up eating a little oh, less. Okay. And regardless, again, the fiber, vitamin C, add it to your diet. Artichokes, one of my favorite diet foods. Again, high in fiber, so they fill you up. 60 calories for that whole artichoke, and you eat it slowly. Another great food to add as an appetizer to slow you down mm -hmm. and eat less calories overall. All right, if you're watching your weight, stay away from fancy coffees. Exactly. This is obvious, the whipped cream. Oh, those coffees, I mean, I don't come on here without having a cup of coffee. However, these coffees, I see people come into my office all the time drinking 1,000 calories from coffee a day. That's 100 mm. pounds a year from mm. coffee drinks with all those sugar and whipped cream. This so one stay see, away from those. It seems obvious to me, but this one was surprising because these are all those low-fat cookies and wafers that you see in the store. Exactly. Those sugar-free and fat-free foods, no nutrition, no satisfaction. You end up looking for calories and trying to satisfy that craving later on. I don't like any of those sugar for your fat-free foods. All right, got it. Appearance. How? You know what? I'm glad I'm seeing mushrooms and coconut because it's always the brightly colored, f colored fruits and veggies that get all the attention. You are exactly correct, and that's why I like to tell people go for those shrooms and those light-colored mush uh, mushrooms and vegetables are well are good as well. Mushrooms have something called selenium, a very powerful antioxidant, good for the skin, and for centuries it's been added to actually topical skin treatments as well. All mushrooms. All kinds of mushrooms okay. have health benefits, yep. And coconut? And coconut ha helps absorb calcium and magnesium, so really mm. important for a beautiful smile, good for your teeth, another reason to add that in, and also great to add to your moisturizer for topical treatment as well. Bad for your appearance, gumballs, gummy bears, deli meats, why? Well, we know high sugar, we know that's not good for our teeth, but also can trigger acne. Mm. So we don't want to go for all those sugary foods, and of course, not good for the waistline either. And then all these deli meats have nitrates, nitrates. and sodium, I don't like nitrates for a variety of reasons, but especially nitrates can cause inflammation, which is bad for the skin as well. Yep, you bloat when you eat that. All right, kale. This is a surprising source of? Calcium. calcium. 90 milligrams for a cup of kale. It's not just about getting your dairy products in to get your calcium in. Sneak kale in at lunch and dinner and also spinach. I also like to add in, what else do we have uh, over here? The sunflower, sunflower seeds. seeds. Sunflower seeds, a source of healthy fat, but they also have magnesium. And magnesium is also important for strong bones. So think about even throwing those into yogurt for an excellent mm, bone building boost. I cannot get enough sunflower seeds. All right, soda and sodium. Soda and sodium. Let's start with the soft drinks. Soft drinks lead to soft bones. Mm -hmm. Researchers are still not sure if it's the phosphorus and the calcium, the, the phosphor that leaches the calcium, or it's just that people replace good uh, calcium sources like milk with soda. Okay. Either way, stay away from the soda. Mm -hmm. And sodium takes out calcium in your urine when you have too much sodium. All right, and then we have cherries and what are these? Pistachios? Pistachios for heart good health. For the heart. And treacherous trans fats. Stay away from the trans fats and stay away from all those messy meats for your heart. Got it. Carrie, thank you so much. You're welcome.